All right, I'm gonna go ahead and record this video real quick again, since we seem to be going over for all the GDP organization. So I'm just gonna walk through this. I'll use my stacks channel as a template. I'll just delete it real quick after I make it. First thing I wanna do is just type slash create. This will start the process. You're gonna get a raid helper message here. So just go ahead and follow that to your DMs. From here, you can just use a template. I just go with the basic Wrath Lich King one. I could make an image, you could use some other fancy stuff with it, but it's easier to go. Adequate. Friday GDP, just put your title there, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can do next. Uh, next. EOE. OS World Tour. Crap. You want to keep this description short. The reason is that if you have too many signups, there's a character limit in Discord. So it'll start deleting. The yeah, signups will start deleting the images. Just keep it nice and sweet, adequate GDKPs. Then you can put the 2K min bin, 2K weapons, 20% uh, org cut. Now we run multiple GDKPs every week. Okay, so nice and easy. Sends the description out, and that's it. Typically, you create it in the channel you want it in. You can just get it zero here for the default. This one, I'm just gonna make it for the 29th of October, 2022. Obviously, it's not a real one, so we're just gonna go with that. Time of the event, I like to make sure that I have, um, I use 24 hour time right here, so you can just do 1900. Uh, you wanna make sure that your time zone is set though, right? So you can do slash time zone anywhere that you want. I would set yours to EST, so your times always match up. That's a problem, we can go ahead and fix that afterwards. The duration. You can put 180 minutes, you can also hit zero, it doesn't matter. When it comes down to here, this is kind of where you want to fine tune it. Obviously I have premium, some of these features aren't available unless you have it, but a couple key things here. So advanced settings. This feature right here, allow duplicate. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this. Put it down here. You can set this to true. What this does is allows a player to sign up multiple times with different classes. So people that have alts, you can go ahead and pick what you want here. So whenever you hit, it sends you back here, you just go ahead and hit two. You go ahead and see right up here at the top, it is true now, it's allowing duplicates. Go back here, you can do reoccurring. You want this to pop up every week at the same time. Hit reoccurring, set an interval, you just put seven. It'll automatically make it every single day. The soft res, if you want to make a soft res run, you want to hit 20 on here, right? It'll automatically walk you through the process of soft res and it'll make it for you. It'll add that link to your raid helper. If you want to set limits, so like say you want to set roll limits, you only want four or five tanks signing up, you can set that there. Uh, same thing with healers, range, melee DPS. I don't really mess around with this too much. The rolls and stuff like that. You can allow rolls and you can ban rolls, right? So say you don't want any trials signing up. You want to choose the role that you want to not sign up on that. Same thing with allowing it. Say I only want members from one raid team to sign up. You can go ahead and use that. Uh, for the reminder, you can go ahead and hit 07. It'll automatically set a reminder before the event of the run. So you can say like, hey, 30 minutes before, it'll automatically set a reminder time. Okay. Same thing here. And response. I like using the response one as well. Anytime somebody signs up, you can just say, hey, thank you for signing up to the Friday Adequate GDKP. Please check out our Discord. Check back with us in a couple days for the roster we posted. Anytime anybody signs up, they'll automatically get that message. It's a nice way to get people into the Discord and make sure that they understand what they're signing up for. Aside from that, really nothing else is major here. You can add an image as well by hitting form. Not that big of a deal. It's just going to cause a character limit on your sign up. So let's go ahead and finish, right? Pretty much everything that I wanted out of this. So now it's going to make you an event. I have an event ID here at the bottom. This is the most important part. Well, not the most important part, but this is an important part here. 
whenever you copy to your event. You can go to the event. So you saw that it was made here. I'm going to need to do this quickly. So I made it in the adequate Discord. Now, because I made it in the adequate Discord, I can't merit these stacks. But I'm going to go ahead and pull run that I already have, which is this one right here. I'm going to go back to... So whenever you're marrying from stacks to adequate, you don't want to go from our Discord to theirs. You want to pull from stacks because they have a server key, right? And so in order to mirror the runs, we need to use their server key. So I went ahead and copied the ID for Friday. This is this one here. I'm going to go over to adequate Discord here. I'm going to delete this. Now what you want to do is you want to type in slash mirror. Hit tab. Put the ID there. You also have the mirror key here. Stacks 39-20. You hit enter. What it does is it'll automatically link it over. Any of the signups that are on stacks, it'll put it here. And people can sign up in our Discord and that one as well and it'll reflect. That's pretty much it. Anything else you need to know, just double check all your, all your information, make sure that it looks good, the time is correct, the day is correct, and only thing you really need to know from Raid Helper.